it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with a video that I have not done in a really long time. It is a closet clean out. Yes, I have done videos like this in the past, and they've gotten a lot of views, so I assume you guys like seeing what comes out of my closet. It's kind of like a makeup graveyard, but a closet graveyard type thing, if that makes sense. So... Yeah, I was cleaning out my closet preparing for fall and winter clothes and I basically took everything out and then really looked through each item before putting them back in and these are the items that I decided are not going back in. <laughs> so if this is something you would like to see, then just keep watching. Alright, so what I do is I keep a bag in my closet and basically if there's like a shirt or pants or shoes or something that I just... I don't like like I put it on and I'm like I don't really like it instead of putting it in my closet I put it in the bag and I know some people like especially women you dress emotionally and but you know there are things that it's like I know I'm having a rough day and I just want to feel pretty and half this stuff's not making me feel pretty but there are things in your closet that you know even on your prettiest days you're still not gonna wear it all right <laughs> And so instead of putting that stuff back in the closet, put it in a bag to get rid of, and then you can buy more stuff to put in your closet. That's how it works. All right. So this vintage Vogue bag is just um, a store around me that I went to. And so I'm just going to pull out clothes from here and keep it kind of brief. I'm going to try not to harp on too many things, but you know, some clothes and shoes kind of memories attached to them, so I might jump into some memories. For the first thing I have are these shorts. These are from American Eagle, and they're just khaki shorts, as you can see. I, I bought these when I lived in Maryland, so that was a while ago, probably six years ago, and I wore them just because they're like, you know, for fun. And then I worked at Starbucks, so I wore them because we had to wear khaki or black pants. And somehow they made it without stains. And so then I kept them beyond that. And I haven't worked at Starbucks in over two years. And I just haven't worn them. I'm just not, a, I don't like this style of short that goes to above your knee anymore. I was obsessed with it, so there's a couple other pairs in here like that. But it's just not my thing anymore. These are good. I'm going to try to find friends for all these clothes that are in still good condition to go to. And then um, the rest I'll just donate. So there are those. And the other pair that are like that, oops, those are jeans, is another pair from Hydra... I think this brand is, um, what is that, Rue, Rue 21... I don't know. I really like these. Um, these are just shorts. and But like I said, I just don't wear this style anymore. They're still in really good condition for being about seven years old. <laughs> but the thing, okay, this is silly. The thing that I don't like about them is I don't, A, I don't like that style anymore that goes above my knee. I don't mind it on other people. I just personally don't think it's flattering on my body. And But these buttons are on the... <laughs> on the butt and so sitting down is so uncomfortable oh my gosh so anyways it might not bother other people but it bothers me <laughs> so those two I'm going to get rid of another pair are these jeans from loft and I love loft clothes loft everything and so they're just they're like skinny street jeans as you can see I love how dark they are I love how good solid quality they are and um Here's what happened. Not to get into a long story, because I said I'm going to try not to, but I lost 20 pounds just through eating right and exercising and that kind of thing. Comment below if you want to see a series on that. But, um, anyways, all of my good clothes didn't fit anymore. And so I took some things that I really love to get, um, tailored or whatever so that they would fit. And these were one of the pairs, but the lady I go to, my boyfriend recommended, and she is good, but I think some clothes just don't tailor well, well, <laughs> and these are them. Like, I think the way she kind of took in the back, they kind of look like mom jeans on me, which I'm not hating the mom jean, I'm hashtag mom team, mom team, mom jean, but, um, I just... It's not 
flattering on me and I don't feel pretty and cute when I wear them anymore. So I'm going to see if a friend, if maybe, maybe they just look like that on me but wouldn't look like that on someone else. So I'm going to see if a friend wants this stuff. If not, I'll just donate it. But these are still in such good condition that I would hate to get rid of them. <sighs> okay. And then there's only one more piece of clothing and then the rest are shoes. So I, I'll try not to harp too much on the shoes. But these pants are like these khaki water resistant type pants. And these are from Gap, uh, like an outlet store. And they were probably like $4. And no lie, I probably got them over 10 years ago. But they still look really good. Um... But I just don't wear them. Like, I haven't worn them in probably three years. <laughs> or six. It may have been six years since I've worn them last. And they're kind of good for, like, hiking or going on the water. That kind of thing. But at this point, I would rather just buy something new than the these. Because I'm just, you know, sometimes you just want something new. So I am going to get rid of these. But this is what they look like. And they are still actually looking really good. That was my dog sneezing. <sighs> but yeah, I hope all of that was in shot for you guys because I my cord wasn't working to hook my cam camera up to a monitor, so I don't really know what you guys are seeing. Okay, the last thing before we get into shoes is this purse right here. This purse is from, um, what's that store? Urban Outfitters. And it was like their clearance. Like that store is so expensive unless you hit clearance and then it's so cheap. But, uh, I've had it for maybe two years, and it was, like, maybe $5. But it's just really falling apart right here. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just trying to not... I mean, the inside looks nice and everything, but I'm just trying to not keep stuff that is, like, falling apart and gross. You know what I mean? So I'm going to get rid of that. And the rest of these things are shoes. I have a couple pairs of flip-flops. And flip-flops are such a funny thing because for the most part, they're really cheap. If you're going to like Old Navy or Target or American Eagle, get their clearance. Flip-flops are like so cheap, yet we hold on to them. Well, I hold on to them to the point that you can't even walk in them. I don't even understand why. Like, just get rid of them. <laughs> then I have a few pairs of these kind of what, triangle sandals. And... These just never fit right, and I spent so much money. Well, I didn't buy them, but they were bought for me. Um, they were so much money, but they just never fit right, and so I'm just going to pass them along to someone who might want them. These are from New York and Company, and as you can see, they are destroyed. So those are going in the trash. These I bought online. They're the Born brand, and I just never had the right size because I ordered them online, and they were cheap, like... I don't know, $10, $15, but they just never fit right. So I'm going to give those to someone. I don't even think I've ever worn them out the house. And then I have... Ooh, I have these vans, which, oh my gosh, look at them. They're such bad repair. But I got these in college, and they just have a lot of good memories attached to them. And, I mean, you guys know how that stuff works. Like, you attach feelings to objects, and then you don't want to get rid of them. And in this case, it's stinky old shoes. So, these are going to go into the trash. It makes me sad, because I can think about, I don't know, at least ten memories right off the top of my head. And even more if I thought about it. But, I mean, that kind of gross. <laughs> Speaking of Maryland, when I lived there, I worked in an outdoor camp, and I got these water shoes, which are ugly but useful, and I've been holding on to them for six years, and have never used them, and they're so, like, old and outdated and ugly that if I do get in a situation of wanting water, I will just buy new ones, but those had such good memories attached to them as well that I just did not want to get rid of them. <sighs> And then the last few pairs of shoes, these are just going to go to friends because they are absolutely fine, they're cute, I just don't wear them. So the first are these wedges. I mean, hey girl, hey! Um, they are big, what is that? Big Buddha brand, have you guys heard of that? They're too high of a like wedge for me, so I don't really know what I was thinking buying them. I wore them a few times, but I'm going to see if I have a friend who 
would wear them because they're so cute. Like, oh, guys, oh, or am I such a whip? But anyways, then there's these shoes. These are just from Payless probably four years ago. And this style used to be cute. It still hasn't completely gone out, but um, I just personally don't feel pretty and cute when I wear these anymore. So I'm going to see if I have a friend who would feel pretty and cute and would want to wear them because they're still in good shape. Um, I just haven't worn them. And then the final pair of shoes are these boots. You can see them. Ah! These are Rocket Dog brand. And, like, the insides are so cute. A friend gave them to me because she bought them off Zappos. And she didn't really like them and didn't return them. And so then she gave them to me. And my only beef with them is because there's no zipper or anything. They are incredibly hard to get on and off your feet. So, um, I just don't wear them for that reason. So maybe someone else maybe wouldn't have that much trouble with them and they could wear them. So yeah, that is all of my stuff for my closet that I'm either just tossing, giving to a friend, or donating. Um... I feel so sorry and bad that I haven't posted one of these videos in a long time, but that just means I haven't been getting rid of stuff. But it's time. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like me and would like to see more videos from me, then just click the red subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!